with us the manager of nz river yeah he is the manager of nz river law not a new town it's a very very old town so guys everywhere in kotiwa whenever you travel you will see the sign boards of the villages or the towns and when you see anything ends with kro why because kro is village the meaning of crow is village so they start with the name and they end it with the village all over kotiwa wherever you go from north to south or east to west you will see all the villages ends with crow so i thought it will be important for you to know whenever you come here and you see you will know the meaning of why every village ends with the name crow So the big stadium that you are seeing next to me is the stadium of Yamsukro it's a football stadium which is being renovated for the CAN which is to be held next year CAN is the biggest football uh, competition all over Africa and it is to be held in Cote d'Ivoire next year also i just imagine when this uh, football competition will be starting there'll be a lot of Uh, people coming and traveling to Cote d'Ivoire because football is extremely popular game here uh, in African regions and especially in Cote d'Ivoire we have uh, amazing players playing football and it will be very very interesting actually, actually there is nothing over here all the offices and all the hotels and everything all the political offices and everything are in Abidjan so that's why this area is calm and peaceful not many people are there and it was built long back uh, by the president Tufuet Boini but just in case if they decide to migrate the politi political offices or government universities over here this place will become extremely famous and the prices will go high because it has a lot of potential it has a lot of space but the only thing is everything is in abidjan and they are not moving but if one uh, you know once government decides to migrate their offices from abidjan to here which will be a very good idea i think all people who will be migrating to work would like to stay here only so we are waiting for this time let's see also when i see a lot of videos of other african countries i see that the road base are not that great but luckily in cote d'ivoire the road connectivity is extremely good you will not see uh, the connectivity issue between two towns or sometimes still villages also they have very good roads so kudos to the government to do a very good job in terms of roads and bridges in this country which is i think is very very important uh, for people who are living in here So we actually got confused because it was the very first time that we were taking this road. Uh, basically, there are two roads. There is another road which is a highway, and very well built and directly connecting to Buake uh, and Yamsukro. But uh, we were not aware of it, and we had to take this road, which was not quite good. Uh, but then later on, we realized that there is a very very good road which. is you know a highway and very smooth road which connects buake and yamsukro uh, just telling you guys whenever you are coming to buake from yamsukro don't take this way there's another way which is like a broad road smooth and very new newly built road and that is what we were supposed to take but as you can see we were completely confused and we had to take this road which took us 45 minutes to 1 hour more uh, so yeah i just wanted to tell you this We are not far from Buake, uh, guys. It shows 30 minutes, and I see a lot of kids coming out from the school. I think there's a school over here. Et puis, d'être capable à un moment donné d'un bon éclat de rire, parce que tout simplement c'est un exutoire. Ça permet de faire sortir en plus les gens qui ne savent pas ce qui s'est passé. Mais en même temps, de mettre le sujet un peu à distance et du coup, d'être capable de garder un esprit critique même quand on est dans yeah, le monde. Il y en a un school. quand même que, que, que je vais trouver, c'est un des salons de violence, hein, c'est les réfugiés qui, qui retrouvent leur village yeah, euh, et qui, euh, 
constate qu'à la place de leur maison, il y a un cratère. I was also reading that Boaké is the second largest city after Abidjan in Côte d'Ivoire and uh, uh, it is quite different from the city, the capital city because I have not seen a lot of malls or a lot of buildings in Boaké. It's completely different. I see some industries, some factories but not like a town like a proper town like abidjan so what i've noticed is all the development activities are going on in abidjan in terms of infrastructure school malls cinema but there are a lot of there are a lot of uh, towns and cities there are no development activities in terms of you know infrastructure housing and other stuff but there is a lot of space over here i don't know why they are not constructing over here as well it would have been so 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 beautiful if the whole country uh, was developing as in uh, abidjan not only abidjan this is my personal view but yes i i got to know with my friends that there are a lot of people staying here who works here in buake uh, for different you know those cashew uh, nuts and uh, other stuff so there are a lot of factories and they are actually staying here because it's quite far from abidjan to come guys the first impression of this town is everything looks like it's old it's not a new town it's a very very old town it looks like this is the first impression of of this town this is my first impression of this town but I know there are a lot of people walking here and they stay here only. Once we reached to Boaké, we stopped for some time here because we wanted to finish some of the work. I was also transferring my photos and we were making sure that everything we want to do, we do because there will be no network later. And that's the reason we are finishing up. So guys, we finished what we had to do in Boaké and uh, now we are heading to this place called NZ River Lodge. Yes, this is the place that we are going to. It is around 40 kilometers away from here and it is a very beautiful safari experience in Cote d'Ivoire. So I'll, I'll go there and once I reach there, there will be no network. So they have clearly told that there will be no network. So once we come, uh, we have to connect with the nature and this is what uh, their objective is. So that's why there's no network over there. So we'll be spending two nights over there today and tomorrow. And tomorrow the whole day we'll be exploring NZ River Lodge. Uh, and I'm very happy and excited to go and explore the very first time this safari experience. And I'll give you the whole review of the place once we reach over over there i explore everything every minute details will be shared so yeah i'm so excited so we will be leaving Boaké in just 10 minutes and heading to nz river lodge so let's go together So guys, once you leave Boaké, you will no more see roads uh, on the way to NZ River Lodge because they are still constructing this road. So probably after 6 months to 1 year, you will see proper roads but not now. Also you will no more have any uh, internet or network to call anyone. So my suggestion is if you have to do anything like you have to call anyone or you have to download something, you have to send messages, you do it in Boaké because once you leave Boaké and you start your way to NZ River Lodge, you will no more have any internet connection or the network. So there are few small villages before you reach to NZ River Lodge. So we, we were going very slowly because there's a construction going on. If you can see on our right side, uh, they are constructing the road. So that's the reason we had to go very, very slowly. The whole thing is being constructed. So probably after a year or so, you will have the road 
till NZ River Lodge it is amazing because we really did not imagine that the road connectivity can come till here to the remote parts of Côte d'Ivoire. So we are almost about to reach NZ River Lodge. It is, uh, what is the time? 5.30 p.m. and there's no network over here. It is the last village that I just Even showed you. Even my screen has stopped working. Everything has stopped working. There's no network at all here. So if you're coming, be prepared that after you cross Buake, you will not get any network. So currently we are crossing the last village before we enter the NZ River Lodge. So yeah, so we have, uh, our friend with us the manager of uh, NZ River Lodge yeah he's the manager of NZ River Lodge yes. and uh, our very dear friend so he's <laughs> taking us and he's showing us the way and also explaining a lot of things about this place so we are just about to reach and he will uh, make us explore the river lodge properly so we are in the safe hands is it big up <laughs> <laughs> so let's go let's go okay okay so guys, we've finally reached to NZ River Lodge. Welcome to NZ River Lodge and let's go and explore this 41,000 hectare land of forest, animals and human beings. Let's go.